And hello, everybody. What? Are you out already? No. Hold on. You ate it all? Got a little bit of a change in plans here. I'm going to try to continue, but I had a knock at the door about five minutes ago. And got a baby shoved in the door and said, Can you watch her? Huh. So we're going to watch you, too, while we do some work, right? Be my guest star. What do you got to say? I don't know if they can hear you, but can you wave? Say hi. Hi. See? Who is that? Can you say Chelsea? See Chelsea? Chelsea's on TV. Hi Chelsea. Eat all your snacks, I'll get you some more in a minute. Alrighty? You wanna go play with the dogs? No! No! Oh! Oh! Them dogs are gonna get you? You'll be okay. Here, you go get in the chair, and I'll get you some more snacks. Okay? Sound like a deal? All right, you give me just a minute. Anyway, so, surprise, surprise. <laughs> That's okay, we can handle it. Um, today I figured what we'd end up doing is uh, taking the parts that I finally got in and see if we can make this uh, hotbed roll. Get it flipped over, get the wheels on it. Hopefully not run into another item that I'm missing, but I think I've got it all covered now. Uh, you can see on the end of three, it's printing a corner bracket for Allison's printer. She came over and spent the day with me yesterday, and we spent the day on Fusion 360. And uh, I can tell you, she is going to be a wizard when it comes to it, because I took her through designing this little L, uh, L bracket, corner bracket, for her 2020 extrusion. And, uh, you know, give her the basics that I know, which is very limited. Um and explain two and three different ways to do every single operation that we were trying to achieve. And then I thought, I thought that's all we would get done. Design the one corner bracket and then print it. But while it was printing, she came back to me and said, okay, what's the next part we need? And I told her, she went and designed that. She said, what's the next part we need? And I told her, and she went and designed that. So she's like four or five parts ahead of me. It's going to take me a week to print all the parts that she's already got designed. So she's rocking it. She is going to be a fusion superstar. So I'm impressed. Very happy. <clears throat> so we got that going on the side. We got the parts in for the printer build. We got the baby here. So we're going to see what we can get done. Um, also, I've made a few changes to um, OBS, and if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to uh, check a couple of those things out and see if they're working. I do see that uh, D got his pair of flush cutters in the chat. Uh, as I'm learning more and more about Twitch and some of the things that you can do, uh, they have designators called badges. So that uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you get a badge. If you subscribe to the channel three months in a row, you get another badge added to it. At six months in a row, you get another badge added to it. And then I think after that, it's a year. So at each badge level, you're going to get another tool until you end up with the entire toolbox. So... I thought that was kind of a fun, nifty little thing, and they are tools out of my newly designed toolbox, as you can see in the logo that Robbie Mack designed for me. Uh, I think most of you might have been here last week when I announced that and debuted it. He did a wonderful job, and I love it. He's an awesome artist. So that, I can see, is working. I did get my goals my graphs at the bottom I did get those updated 
So they are back online and working properly, at least for this month. Hey, what? What? Did I forget your snacks? All right, I'll get your snacks. Bear with me just a second. Let me get her some snacks. Cheerios handy. And try to stay out of them myself. Okay. She sat outside for a minute. You happy camper now? Okay, good deal. She's a talker. Man, she just... I don't know what she's saying, but she's got plenty to say. Snack me, Grandpa. I would. I'll tell you what. Here you go. Here you go. Here's your Cheerio. Here you go. That's for you, D. Enjoy it. Hi. <laughs> okay. So. Need a new set of flush cutters. Apparently, I'm going to need a new set of flush cutters, too, because my wife told on herself she was... I don't remember who she was talking to. She was talking to somebody last night and didn't realize that I was... Hey, what do we got here? Told them for dollars. Just subscribe. Thank you very much. Told them for dollars. That is awesome, man. Thank you. You're going to get you a pair of flush cutters. I forgot what I was saying now. I got so excited. That's awesome. So, I was. she didn't think I was listening. I was sitting here at the computer and she was talking to somebody. And I forget who it was now. But I could hear her talking in the background that how she liked my blue handled cutters because they were so handy to use for her crafting. Yeah, there you go. I miss so many of your streams and I have wanted to sub for a while. Well, thank you so much, Trolling for Dollars. I appreciate that. You don't know how much that means to me. <clears throat> so, she has decided that my flush cutters are now one of her craft tools. So, I'm either going to have to hide them or I'm going to have to buy another pair because she will be cutting wire and glass and plastic and metal and whatever who knows she's one of those that will use a butter knife to open a can of paint and that just drives me crazy so I'm gonna figure out something and get me another pair of flush cutters probably all right so that's an awesome way to start to stream thank you so much time to get in it expensive pair for yourself and give her the old ones well I'll get an expensive pair for myself and keep them put up somewhere incognito and leave these out so she still feels like she's getting away with something that way she gets joy I get joy see how that works I got this I got this um, and I'll show you something that I Actually, I think it was yesterday I was on the stream. Uh, on the stream or in the hangout yesterday at Mike's. And I kept I kept laughing because I kept doing something. And nobody seemed to catch it. So I'm going to give it away now. I would sit there in Mike's... Uh, yeah, wipe glue or grease off the handles or hot glue or whatever. Yesterday I kept going in and I would go like this. And I was just trying to see if anybody would notice. And nobody was noticing. I didn't notice. Turns out, over the weekend, I was helping my son. Uh, Sunday, I was helping him cut some wood out in the backyard and run all of the brush through a chipper. And I had my glasses in my pocket. So then, afterwards, I came in and I got, got on the computer and was doing some stuff and never even noticed. And then a little bit later... I reached in my pocket and I I pulled uh, this out. I'm like, where the hell did that come from? I don't get it. I don't know. I had no clue. No, the lens didn't go through the chipper. It just fell out in my pocket. But this eye is totally blind. I can't see anything out of it. It's dead. So I had no idea I had been walking around for a day with one lens and nothing in this one 
So we had to go to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I bought like... Hey, hey what? What? I'm working here. Get off my case. Just eat your snacks. And quit yelling, hey. Huh. Anyway. So I, I'm walking around looking like an idiot and didn't even know it. But I've got four more pair from the Dollar Tree yesterday. So I'll switch them out. But I just thought it, it was funny. I was doing this through the whole, through the whole uh, hangout and nobody was noticing. I was just messing around. Didn't affect my sight, so. <clears throat> anyway, just a, a little quick mention there. So, what are you doing? What? The dogs will eat your snacks if you leave them there. So, let me see, what else? Um, just want to cover a few little things here while I'm sitting here, and then I'll switch cameras and we'll get up and we'll get to work. Um, what else did I work on on OBS? Uh, commands. I worked on some commands. So if you'll indulge me for just a minute, I want to see if these commands work. Um, I put several commands in and I, I think I did them right. Uh, with Twitch, the commands are exclamation mark and then the command. And let's see, YouTube. And it should return the link to my YouTube. There we go. So that one worked. Um, the whole time I've been streaming, things in Nightbot would pop up and say, this alias does not work or cannot be found. And it, it's just a little annoyance that I finally got around to fixing. And I think I've got it figured out. So I just wanted to test it a little bit. So if I do exclamation point Facebook should give me the link okay that one works exclamation point uh, mark what else did I have Twitter that one worked okay exclamation mark Instagram which I have an Instagram account but I have never used it but I will be posting a picture or two when we get done with the bed just to start getting in the habit of using Instagram. So let's see, it should have worked. And then that one works. Let's see. I think I put a couple others in there. Hold on. Are those dogs being a pain? Get up there in the seat. Dixie will eat your snacks before you can blink your eyes. Um, exclamation mark. I don't remember the command now. Free sub, maybe? Hmm. Give me just a second and let me look on that one because I... Um... Those are actually Nightbot commands. I think I said, uh, I think I said Twitch, but those are actually Nightbot commands. Authorize. I put in some new uh, commands. There we go. Put in some new antivirus software, so a lot of my stuff, a lot of my saved passwords and things went away custom. Oh, Prime Sub. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Prime Sub. Okay. So let me try that. And see if I can figure out where to go back. Let's try that. Prime Sub, which is the free one. Yep, oh, forgot the exclamation mark. I'm sorry, this is new to me. I'm just trying to work out the bugs and upgrade every chance I get. Prime uh, we've got so many projects up there and that one worked okay and that's supposed to be a link that gives instructions because there's been two or three people ask me how to do it and rather than me just explain it 
I figure this way I can just give them the command and they can click on the link and, and work their way through it that way. That way I don't have to explain it over and over and over and tie up everybody's time. So that worked. Um, I will also do one. What's the matter? Okay. Hang on just a second. I gotta put a dog in doggy jail. If he's gonna be an ass, he's gonna get locked up. Okay? You gonna get in the seat? You wanna get up here? You can get up here if you want. No? Too late. You spilled them all. I didn't say that. Saw that coming. Here, come here. Get up here. Come on up here. There you go. That way you can be on camera. I kind of keep an eye on you while I'm sitting at the desk. How's that? Maybe I can. Or maybe I'll be blocking. Yeah, I'll be blocking the camera. Anyway, sorry about that. Why don't these ears come off the puppies? Oh, was, was she pulling on the ears? Sam's been a butthead all day long. Chasing the cat, tearing the house up. So, he's been in doggy jail about all day. He's been locked in the laundry room. He ought to be used to it by now. So anyway, there's, uh, there's all my commands. They're all working. Thank you for indulging me while I verify that those work. Um, the only way I could test them was during live chat, so I wanted to get that done. But they they seem to be looking pretty good and I didn't get any errors or faults so now let's get on with the good stuff let's see if we can make some progress I am gonna switch over here to the printer cam and show you the mess that I have and we will start working all right so I've got the main cam here it shows everything that one there, boy, the sun's in the wrong place, but hopefully this one will clear up as the sun changes position here in a few minutes, or I stand over there. And I'll leave this one up just to keep an eye on things. Alrighty. Dixie, you're going to have to get off my feet, girl. Um, wait a minute here. Nope, there we go. Okay. I was gonna say, I wasn't sure I had chat where I could still see it. Actually, yes. Hey, Cindy. The baby's fine. Where you going? Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy's on TV watching you. Mommy says, What has the baby? Here, get up here. Come on back up here. Doing good, Cindy. Gavern away. Ran out of snacks and started yelling at me, so I had to go get her some snacks. I did not realize I was babysitting today, so I got a knock at the door, and Stephen said, Hey, can you watch her? Here you go. And that's what I got. <laughs> but we'll get along just fine. I got a bag full of snacks, and she's a happy camper. So she's doing good. Um... Let's see. You know what time you're going to be here? Eh, it don't matter. We'll be here. I know Stephen went to help Chris with uh, a tree job that he got today. It was a quick one. Somebody had a limb down from last night on their roof. And Chris needed help, so he must have went and picked up Stephen to get some help. So, no biggie. Me and the dogs and Chelsea, we're here on uh, on Twitch. We're going to work on a printer. So, all right. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Ah, there you go. Thank you for the bits, Cindy. I appreciate it. I know you don't use them, but I appreciate you taking the time to collect them and send them to me because they certainly help. So, 
Best thing about having the grandbaby over is I can always give her back when I get tired. Yep. Yep. Well, for the most part, that's true, D. But let me tell you something. When you get 14, that's a little bit harder. It doesn't matter. You give one back, there'll be two more to replace it. Give them back, you'll get four more to replace it. We actually had to put limits because we used to take five at a time. And it got bad enough that we had to cut that limit down to two at a time. <laughs> it can get some, it can get pretty rough. Old Papaw cannot keep up with them like he used to. All right, so you want here? You want to set up here? No. Yes. You want to set up here? No. Put, all right. Put your snacks up there, and you climb up here in this chair. We'll see if that'll work. See if you can sit still enough. And don't touch my keyboards. All right. Can we see? Here, let's get you on camera. You can be my co-star. How's that? There we go. Keep an eye on D, because he'll steal your snacks. All right. I'm going to move the keyboard so you don't push on it. I don't need you killing my stream halfway through. Let's see here. See if it'll set there. Hey, Tyler. You joined me just in time. Thank you for the bits, buddy. We are getting ready to... Uh, if I can get in here and see. We're getting ready to start to build uh, the heat bed table. Thank you for joining. I take it you're not working overtime at the prison today, so. All right, so let's see what we got. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Here's my display, which this is actually gonna change somewhat. That's, everything just kind of became a catch-all here lately. And here's all my bolts from Xyltech. And I got a, uh, Centrifugal fan for my parts cooler. And I got me another bag of wheels because I was out of wheels. I got four rolls of filament out of the box, which is not normal. And then from Amazon, I ordered some 6x25s, which I'm going to use to bolt these saddles down right here. Did have a bit of an issue with those. I'll explain that here in a minute. And then I got this pretty decent, uh, pretty decent set of five millimeters. I think five millimeters. Yeah, five millimeter button head hex socket, hex socket button head cap screws. And it's a set with twenty pieces of. 20 millimeters, 25, 30, 35s, and 40s. So that'll give me enough for my axles for my wheels, which is what I was waiting on. And then this is just the old set that I've always had. I got those down the street at a local hardware store. And extra adapter, which I'm not gonna use anymore because my board case that I did have mounted up on top here crappy I was having trouble with the extruder at the time or at the hot end at the time just weak and no layer adhesion so it's just trash so I reprinted one that uh, D showed me and it, it's a minion box and the ones in the picture are blue and yellow like minions but I printed mine all green all I gotta do is find the right screws. I gotta get the right screws to mount the ramps board and the Arduino down to the bottom. And that goes right together and it's got a push-pull fan system for cooling, so I'm excited to get that going. That won't be too far off in the future. That'll be a project we'll be working on soon. So Let's see, there's there's the big junk. Um, 
one of my idlers for up here. What a mess, what a mess. Get rid of that. Add some bushings. Those are bushings for my idlers. So just got all kinds of crap. And here's my carriage for the other side. So, that leads us to our goal for today. And let's see what we got to work with here. Get a couple of these corner brackets. And let's get uh, four of these T nuts. Five by tens. Get my uh, tins will be pretty tight. Now don't mess with the phone. Tins will be pretty tight, so we'll go with the eights. If I can reach them. All right, you just eat your Cheerios and don't don't push no buttons. Wait, this one's not marked. There's the wheels, but it should be eight. Double bag. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're saying, but okay. as long as you're smiling. <laughs> All right, so there's four of those. So point of no return. Let's see if it's gonna work. Hopefully, this is gonna work. All right. No, you don't touch the buttons. Okay, you leave the buttons. Don't pout, you big baby. But you can't be pushing buttons. You're liable to be typing all kinds of stuff in. Stuff there. Let's see, look behind you. Now I can steal a few snacks. Uh oh. See? You little pout. Are you dead? Are you out? Hey, are you okay? Hey, are you still alive? Oh no, she's dropped out. She dropped out. The poor baby's dropped out. I yelled at her and she's out. Alright, I guess you don't need these snacks in. I'll just eat them. How's that? You didn't type nothing, did you? No, but you clicked on something. Hit the delete key. That's for deliver. Boy, she is out. Poor thing. Cindy, if you're still in there, I feel for you. Takes after you, you know. Drama queen here. Drama queen. Did those eyes just open? Did I see those eyes open? Jelly goose. Told you you should have named her Karma. Still out? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me know when you're back. Ooh, we're gonna be close on this one. I made D I made these corner black. I made these corner brackets really heavy. Made them uh, five millimeter wall thickness. Yeah, you can see that. 
and that head just barely fit. So I got lucky there. Oh, we're not gonna be able to use the eights. Eights aren't gonna be long enough. Deceptive. I thought sure the tens would be too long, but goodness, we have both. The eights back in here. I made it pretty thick. I wanted it to be heavy duty. I'll have to remember to order some more tens on the next run because I'll be using quite a few of these. That's my pan. <laughs> I need a step ladder just to be able to work on this thing. Man, she is out. That red hair. She's bullheaded. Herman. Just because I yelled at you for pushing buttons? Really? What do you think, Lily? She's out. If she stays out for the whole show, I'll just give you her snacks. How about that? She don't need them. Your eyes are open. I see you're faking. You faker. Papa's made an enemy. Yep. No, no. Don't eat the bolts. Dumb dog. You know, if you stay like that very long, you're really going to drop out. You're going to fall asleep. I know you will. I bet you cannot hold that face during the entire video. Bet me a dollar. You are something else. You know that. Papa's baby girl. Huh? Is she cracking one? Yeah, she's starting to give up. That finger's starting to quiver. She's going to drop it here in a minute. Oh, there goes the hand. What are you doing? Hiding your face? Yes! You're a faker. You are a faker. What's the matter? What? Is Grandpa that mean to you? Huh? Is Grandpa that mean? Oh, I know. Poor, poor Chelsea. Just got it so bad. Life is so rough. I'll get her all cranked up for you, Cindy. That way when you come get her, you get to deal with it. See, that's the good thing. Papas can do what they want, and then mom's got to deal with it. What do you think of that? feel better? Did you get all that frustration out of your system? Hmm.
There we go. Y'all good now? Huh? No, boy, you're dedicated. You are dedicated. I'll bet your mom and dad have fun with you. Somebody's a bit spoiled. At least as long as you're pouting, I don't have to chase you around the house, do I? Think of that. Payback, that's right. I wonder it would come. Actually, it came threefold, too. Well, twofold at least. Got two baby girls, her and Kelsey. Kelsey and Chelsea. This one gets a little bit older. They're going to double team mom. I'm going to laugh. Oh, I'm going to laugh. All right. Okay, there's my first bracket. Trying to keep up with chat. All right, there's my first bracket. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, I gotta start these other bolts and T-nuts. Poor baby Chelsea. I bet Daddy let you push the buttons on the computer at home, doesn't he? Thought you were gonna get away with that. daddy's girl bet you are I see you breathing I know you're still alive <laughs> I don't know why you're covering your face though what are you covering your face for Huh? What? Oh. What's the matter? You gonna try again? I can't, I can't hear you. You want down? Oh, okay. Oh, no. All right, we'll take a break. Hold on. We'll take a break here. <laughs> we'll take a break. Yeah. You know what I think? Let me see if I can switch back here. I think what it is is somebody probably needs a nap. You think that's what that is? You think somebody needs a nap? I'm gonna eat some of your Cheerios. I'm gonna share them with everybody else. Is that okay? Apple so mean. Uh oh, phone's beeping. I'm in trouble. Not the N word. That's right. Let's see what do I got going on. Mommy's probably texting me to yell at me. No, not yet. Anyway. Tired, baby. Daddy set me up, didn't he? 
Here, you deal with this. Hey, those Cheerios are pretty good, do you know? Cheerios are pretty good. You feel like laying down taking a nap with the puppies? Give us another try. I apologize for all that. Hey, Tom. Good to see you, man. We're babysitting today. You timed it perfect. All right. So we're going to switch to the printer cam. Let's get back over there and start on that table some more. All right. So let's see. I've got my brace. I've got. <coughs> oh, I dropped the bowl. <coughs> Good stuff. All right. As long as you're happy. Now I don't know if I can tell mom you were on TV or not. If I tell her, I might get in trouble. I made you cry. Then again, it might make her laugh. What do you think I should do? Yes? No? Yes? What? Alright, so about got our first brace made. This will lock one side of the table frame together. Now let's see if we can get this lined up and locked in. That one's in. That one's in. Man, I wish I had a set of Allen wrenches that had a screwdriver handle on them. Get me a pair. That's that. Hopefully you can hear me too. Check about that. We can lock these down and get this nice and square. Confident all my cuts are all the same size and the right size. I cut them on the chop saw and it all went well so we shouldn't have any problems there. Almost there. Alright, there's that side. See if I can get this side. I'm gonna just rotate this table around here so I can get to it and not block the camera. Hopefully. Hoping that nut will turn. A little bit. 
bit awkward there. Turn yet. Okay, let's try this a little differently. I can't see what's going on this way, so. This way. There we go. Now let's see if it'll turn. Are you done? What's the matter? Oh, thank you. You're a good girl. You're a good helper. Dropped one of my extrusions and she come over and helped me pick it up. Yep, I got that too tight before it made the turn. sucker embedded into the plastic. Alright, let's see if I can pop out there. matter did I drop it no. yeah I dropped it I got it thank you oh, no. oh you did I drop something else no. yeah, let me have it. thank you you got better eyes than I do you better get up here and them dogs will eat your snacks them dogs are gonna eat your snacks they will Speak Chinese. What are you talk? What are you talking about? Don't speak jibber jabber. Oh, are you gonna play with the dog toys? There we go. All right, now let's give it a try. Uh, what is that red filament? That is called. Merlot, M-E-R-L-O-T, red, and it's a burgundy wine color. That's specifically what my granddaughter wanted was a burgundy color for her 3D printer that we are building. And she is actually, she 
came over yesterday and that's the first part of her printer that she designed and we did it in Fusion 360 and I walked her through it the first time and then my thinking was she was going to come over and we would just design that one part and print it but she picked up Fusion so well on basic parts like this anyway but the next thing I know she's like well what else do I need she designed three more parts while we were watching this one print so now I've got a week worth of printing of parts for her printer because she's designed so many parts ahead of me that now I've got a list but I'm proud of her she picked up fusion what I've been able to teach her so far like nothing She's very artistic and mechanically inclined and stuff anyway, so she gets it. The, her uh, birthday present is actually we're building her a 3D printer from scratch, so it's going to be very similar in size to the Ender 3. And I need that nut to turn. I think I got it. I think it turned. And that's uh, 3D Solutech filament. 3D Solutech Merlot Red. We actually bought it specifically for her printer, but I have printed a few things of my own out of it. I like it. So. Probably going to end up having to buy another roll of that at some point. I love the color. Very beautiful color. All right. So there's one. It seemed like it was a lot harder than it needed to be, but we got it. Better at Fusion than Grandpa? Well, she will be. She's definitely picking it up faster than Grandpa. But I like to think that it's because I'm such a good teacher. You know what they say, those who cannot do, teach. So, I should be able to teach a lot of things. All right. Nope, that's a bed bracket. All right, so now we need two more corner brackets. Well, that's gonna suck. These aren't. These bags aren't marked. These should be the tins. I'm gonna put a sticker on there because they're not marked. They were marked on the outer bag, but they were double bagged and like a dummy. Took them out of the first bag and put them back. So, all right. So there is four more bolts, two more brackets, and four more T nuts. Okay, so we're getting there. I'm sorry I'm so slow, but it's coming along and I want it to be good, so.
Seems to be happy playing with the dog toys, so. Luckily, she came back to life. Kind of hard to explain to my daughter that she died because I told her not to push buttons on the computer. That wouldn't be good. But I can't believe how stubborn she was. <laughs> she was not going to tilt that head up. What? What you got? Yeah, throw it. The dogs will... Nah, the dogs don't really like that toy. I'm going to have to get some magnetic tools because I can't hold on to nothing. Now, they do like the chicken. Here, let me show you. Here, look. There you go. That's Dixie's chicken. Don't, don't be surprised if she don't take it away from you. She don't like people messing with her chicken. Yeah. Watch the wires. You a good girl? You are. You're a good little helper. Alright, so there's one corner bracket ready. I'm going to try to plan ahead on this one a little better. Huh? Alright, you can go play with that one. Yeah. Hey Mike, how you doing? Finally trying to get my bed up on a rolling chassis here. About five minutes before I started the stream, the door, somebody knocked at the door. Said, uh, I need you to watch the grandbaby and away they went. So, I have a helper. Is that the dog's cheeseburger? Huh? Here you go. Here, let me give that to D. Dee. Here. D's hungry. Let me have that one. No? D can't have the cheeseburger? Oh, he can? Okay. Here you go, D. There's your cheeseburger. Just for you. There's your cheeseburger. Nope. That's Dixie's cheeseburger. You're not getting that cheeseburger. That's all I got. I don't have any. These aren't for you, dogs. These are bolts. You don't want to chew these bolts. I'm going to get your snacks because them dogs are going to eat your snacks. Them mean old dogs will eat them. Oh, did you catch me? No. You caught me, didn't you? No. No? Tap on now? You don't want me eating your snacks, huh? No. All right. I promise not to eat your snacks again. You believe that, don't you? No? Okay. You weren't eating them. You were not eating those snacks. Stay in here. I know the other dog's in jail. He got in trouble. He'll be alright. Just let him cry. He'll be okay. He's been in jail all day long. <laughs> Your dogs want a cheeseburger? <laughs> yeah, you think that's funny? Don't be picking stuff up off the floor and eating it. It might be a bolt. Yeah, just put it down. It's okay. Yeah, all right, give it to me, whatever it is. Piece of plastic. All right, thank you. All right, I got it. You're a good helper. You want me to eat those snacks for you? You gonna eat them? Okay. It's all right. I'm telling you, them dogs are gonna get your snacks in just about two seconds. Lily is zeroing in on them. And there they go. You better get up and eat them. Don't listen. And then you'll be crying again. 
Neither one of us will, neither one of us will get any snacks. No, no. I know. My schedule has changed somewhat because today I was babysitting the great nephew. That's what I did all day. But he had fun. Actually, so did I. Nothing beats a good day of cartoons and naps. Alright, so this time we're going to try it a little different. We got all the bolts prepped first. And now we'll see if we can get them in there. I think once we get these in, it should get easier. Where's my helper? I lost my wrench. Okay. Alright, what'd you do with your snacks? Got him? Dog's hot dog. Yeah. Alright, so there's one. And I'll be glad to have this done. If I can move forward. That's funny. Okay. All right, so there's bracket number two. Let's see if we can get this one to lock in. One side. Looks like this one's going to be a little easier because the other one's kind of drawn it together for me. I don't have to squeeze and squeeze and turn simultaneously now. Hear something beeping. Was it you beeping? Not you? No? Okay. No, just silly stuff. We're good. Okay, tighten in the last two corner brackets and we'll have the frame built. What? You on with them dogs? Alright, you get them straightened out. Yeah, tell him. Another turn or two and we'll have her. Alright, that's it on that one. Okay. So, now we've got our hotbed, got a frame, 
Nice and solid. We got our spring suspension. Good there. Next. We have to work on the carriages. Like this carriage right here. Which has a sample piece of extrusion in it that we got to remove. Which should not be a problem. Wouldn't think it'd be a problem anyway. I only put half the tea nuts in it just to see what it looked like. Alright. Perfect. There's a piece of scrap. Okay, now. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I guess I'm going to have to separate it. What? We got. They ate your snacks, didn't they? I told you they were going to eat them. I warned you. Where'd you go? There, you come back in here. You need more? You want more? Huh? All right. Daisy, go lay down. Here, give me a bowl. I'm just going to give you a little this time so you don't feed the dog so much. There. Alright. Then I'm going out to get the litter box snacks. She better not. No, she can't get there. That's where the dog's in jail. The gate's shut. She can't reach it. Dog's been in jail all day long because he won't leave the cat alone. I get tired of seeing two of them tear the house apart knocking things off the shelves and the tables and everything else so I just lock him in the back let him out when his mom gets home and she can deal with him okay there's one wheel off Get these two side rails on. It'll be rolling. We'll be good. I don't care if it beats up the cat. That's fine. As long as it doesn't knock all my junk off the tables and the desk and the couch and everything. Wait, you got a book? You gonna read that book? Huh? Can you read? No, but your bowl's on the floor. Look who ate all your snacks again. Not, you ain't getting no more. I, I, I don't care what you say. Put it up there on the table. You blew it. Yeah, you blew it. Don't tell me no. You did. You blew it. Here, I'll set it up here. Maybe if you're good, I'll get you some more when I get done here. Okay, so, get out of there, there you go, you're good, what are you doing now, 
Okay, so let's change these bolts over. These are some little short ones that I had. But they got a real big head on them and I didn't like that. Well, dropped it again. All right. Okay, so let's get some more of these nuts out. Bolts out. A whole bunch of them out there. All right. Okay, there's one. Two. Let's get some more tea nuts out. A little bit tighter. There's four. Sucker's not coming loose. Alright, so let's turn all these T nuts the right direction. Stick it in there. So we got her there. Now we gotta center it up. That says 53. That says 57. Oh, so 60. Seven's 110, so I need 55. Fifty-six. There's fifty-five and a half. Probably went a little too far on that one. Oh, 55, okay. So I can remember that. String in there. Okay, so we're 55. Lock this down.
That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. I'm sure this is overkill, but that's okay. Okay, so now I need off. Same thing on the other side. Uh oh, dropped it again. There it is. Okay. Swap out these standard socket head bolts with these button head bolts. They don't take up as much room, they don't stick out as far. I have to order another bag of these tins. Order. That's Zyletech.com. Shameless plug with a 15% discount from 3D PSC. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. That's one of the things I forgot to mention in the beginning that I was going to talk about. One of the things that I did while I put these screws in, let me pop back over really quick to the main screen and show you a couple a couple other things that I was doing. I forgot forgot to tell you. Okay. This is the normal screen that I had, which everybody's seen for the last week or two, or longer. Some parts are new, some parts are old. But what I've got down there at the bottom of my frame, my diamond plate frame, I've got all my contact information, which I also showed you you could pull up at any point in chat. But then that's also, that's designed as my sponsor banner. And what you'll notice is, once it goes through all my contact information, It'll pop up the uh, Xyltech coupon code so that everybody sees that. And then after it does that, it goes through my sponsors. And I consider all my sponsors, anybody that does a subscription to my channel, to me, that's a sponsor. And I appreciate it. And I want you guys to have recognition for it. You know, it's not a big deal. It's the very least I can do right now and I have plans for better stuff in the future but D there for example was the very first one to sub, sub to my channel and so he's on my sponsor bar Minnesota Maker was also generous enough to sub to my channel so I did his up um, well I'll tell you after the rest of them go through and Mr. Buttram he was generous enough to sub to my channel and I thank him very much I know this is not a good time for him. He's usually driving home right now. And Trolling for Dollars has subbed to my channel, but I am still live, so I have not had a chance to generate a, a uh, whatever you want to call it, a su sign, a flag, or whatever you want to call that thing. But I will generate a... Uh, sponsorship banner for you and put on there so it scrolls around and I, I thank you so much I appreciate it very much the support that I get from all of you um, but that was just one of the first steps in trying to thank you for subbing to my channel um, if you have any favorite colors or I'll look at your uh, your logo or whatever uh, for example, Minnesota Maker just was a picture of him, and if I put it on that little banner, you couldn't see, you couldn't tell what it was. But I looked at his YouTube channel, I believe it was his YouTube channel, and I saw that it looked like he had a Harley in there. So I designed his little flag out of Harley orange. I looked up the color code and made it Harley orange and black. Um, I know Ryan Buttram 
He's a Chevy man standing in front of a Chevy pickup truck, so I went and found the Chevy orange color code and made his orange and blue, asked him what his favorite color was. So if you have any preference there trolling for dollars, just leave it there in the chat and I will uh, try to design you a little flag there to go along with it. And I hope you all, um, I hope you all continue to collect tools until you have the whole toolbox. Um, that's kind of why I designed it, just to help as an extra incentive, just to make it a little more fun. Like I said, at three months you'll get another tool, and then six months you get another tool, and a year you get the whole damn toolbox. While I wait for that to come in, let me switch back to the other cameras and get these nuts on this side. Anyway, I just wanted to jump back here while I was thinking of it before I forgot again. I forgot that when I was first talking. Okay, so now we have the other side. We have button heads in there. Wide over there in that corner. He has every single dog toy out. I was surprised she's not getting harassed by Dixie and Lily. Dixie's usually pretty picky about who messes with her toys. And she'll go take them away. But as you can tell, she doesn't seem to have any concern. She's laying there on the blankets. So, <clears throat> this part's the easy part, just putting, putting the bolts and T-nuts into the extrusion. I have a feeling the axles are going to be a little more difficult. So let's get these all lined up so they'll go in. Get all these T nuts to turn. All right, now let's see. Say we had fifty five. Well, that was a good eye. We're right on, 55. Okay. Running for ain't nobody chasing you. And I'd give anything to have their energy. So we got two there. I'm turn this a little more so it don't fall on me. All right, so there's one side. Now, let's see how long a bolt we need for axles. Have a nut on the back side. 
Looks like we need 35s. Alright, so let's get at this fancy new bolt set I bought. Get three M535s. my uh, cat track that I've been working on up until Ali came I had the printer working on mine now all of a sudden my stuff goes on the back burner but we're getting there I figure I need about six feet of that a couple feet for each one each direction what is that cat getting you you woke up the beast didn't you yeah, that's a new one. That you haven't seen the kitty cat, have you? Kitty cat's new. I know. Sam's back here trying to jump the gate. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna put the screw in. Cut some bushings. A little bit. You better quit running, you're gonna fall. Okay, so there's a bushing in the wheel. This is one of those jobs where you need four hands and a bushing on the other side. And let's see, I got some tweezers here somewhere. Thought I did. Yeah. So we'll put a bushing in on this side. All right, run that bolt the rest of the way in. Same thing over here. I got two different size bushings in here. I got uh, some long ones for my idler pulleys up there. And I got some short ones for these wheels here. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I've actually got the T nuts in, or the uh, lead screw nuts in and on the motors. I got the nuts in here and I got my clamps on here. I just haven't put the belt on because I got to put the bushings behind these idlers and then I'll put the belt on and tension it. Probably won't get that done today. Running a little bit farther behind than I expected to today. That's okay, we'll get it. Any progress is forward progress. Any forward progress is progress, whatever. I don't care, inch or a mile, as long as it's forward progress. 
Alright, so bushing and then the wheel. And then another bushing. such a nice job when you have the exact right size bolts yeah, it's not lining up with the hole exactly yeah. all right I got company coming in so be prepared two grandbabies I think I think you can see them all yep you've, you've seen Patrick before I don't know if you've seen Kelsey on on the stream or not let's see a few crap cams I had and finally found them they were in a box marked webcams no wonder I could not find them yeah uh, Walter just went live sorry but I'm going to mute your stream but watch on my second screen. That's fine, twelve for dollars. I appreciate you being here. Wait, this is my other granddaughter Kelsey. And that's the troublemaker Chelsea that you've been keeping an eye on. And my daughter Cindy sitting over there off camera. I am putting the wheels and carriages on the heat bed. Easy now. I got cameras you blocking, but that piece is to another printer. That's going to Allie's printer. She came over yesterday and designed parts for her printer. So I'm trying to get some of those printed out for her. So there's one side. Around, see if we can get the other side up and running. Did you have to work today? Yeah. sitting up here at the desk and I had her up there had the camera down right on her and she was eating some Cheerios and I turned around and looked and she was pushing buttons on the laptop and I told her no and she started to pout and she threw herself back in the chair and just acted like she dropped out you know 
And I swear, she was there for the longest freaking time. She is so dedicated. Finally, when I did get her to wake up and come around, we could see her grinning from the camera, you know. She was trying hard to not smile, but... Then when she finally did break loose, then she started crying. The big drama queen. Yeah, D said she shut down with no response. Just like power down. You better be easy. I guess Steven went to help uh, Chris with a tree job. Small tree job. There was a limb down on a church parsonage or something that they wanted off. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to where we were. Let me see. Let me get this over at 55, which we are way off. Huh? Hello? Hello? Which I can do, I just got to do some adjustments to this. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. It's a track and you put wires in it and they go up and down. Cool, huh? Alright, we're at 60. We got five to go. Wait, but how did you make this like twist like this? Like, and turn? Had to make it one piece at a time. Oh, and you put it together like a train or something? I can put it Snap it together, yeah. Like train track. Look. Gracie Lou Freebush, I think is what it is. Your mom will know. It's out of a movie somewhere. Okay. All good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Come here, kitty. We're getting close now. If I get these three more axles in, three more axles in, we can at least see it roll. It'll be some good progress for today, and then I'll put the bottom wheels in later, because I might have to take it off again. Did you get the things fixed up? We are here in 10 by mode. 
Cannon over there, D, in standby mode. Operators are tandem by. Did I what? Uh, did you get the things fixed that broke last uh, night? Or, uh, uh, probably. I don't know what you're talking about, but... The wheels that fell off last time and broke. Did you get those fixed? Uh, yes, I imagine, because all the wheels are fixed, so... Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's see if we've got 55 here. Just making sure you're awful pushy there. I just didn't want to be in your way. Oh, Papa. What? Guess what Chelsea did today? What? She, uh, Kelsey didn't put her markers up. Uh oh. And Kelsey got the Kelsey got the markers. She marked on the couch. Uh oh. On the and door. Were. And you should see her legs. Mama, here. Look at her legs. Daddy in trouble for not watching you? No, Kelsey. Kelsey should be in trouble. She left him out. Well, <laughs> sounds to me like they both ought to be in trouble. Yeah. I got home, I'm like, Chelsea, what'd you do? Kelsey needs to pick up her stuff, but an adult needs to be keeping an eye on them. Put the last wheels in here. Okay. So let's see what we got here. This out of the way. And we'll put these things out of the way. I'll pick them up later. Three more. Three more thirty fives. Actually, I'm missing one. Where is Did I get three out before? Because I only put two in. No, I see it down there. Okay, so here we go with one bolt. And a bushing.
There's one more wheel. We get this one on and we should be able to flip it over and see. Now there's a possibility I'm going to have to loosen up all these T nuts and uh, maybe put a shim in there just to keep them from rubbing the other extrusion. I didn't think about that till after the fact. But we're going to see how it does without it first. It's not a big deal. If I do have to, I thought about going ahead and just putting a layer of masking tape between this brace and the extrusion on each side just to give it a, you know, a thousand or two clearance. But I can adjust that later. That's, that's not a big deal. I just want to see it roll tonight. That's all. Wheels up nice and a couple nuts and we got it. Regular nuts. Running low on regular nuts too. There's only four people that showed up at practice Saturday. Oh yeah? Yeah. Showing up for practice, huh? Nope. At least they're not. What did your coach say about that? He, he was saying, well, I mean, we did, it was at 8 o'clock in the morning, so. That's so did you do a good job at practice? Yeah. Early, so we got to practice uh, more. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Hi. Get this cat track out of here. That out of the way. Would you like this in the bag? I want that. No. The bed's cooling off over there, so I hear the, hear the part popping. Get that out of the way. All right. I don't have the bolts in my saddles yet, so they're not centered up exactly where they belong. Oh God, what a mess I have to clean up tomorrow. That looks about even. Oh, there it is, slick as glass. We did it, guys. I still got to put the bottom bearing on. Let's see if I can uh, get it out here a little bit. 
And see if I can find the tape measure. I got a tape measure somewhere. Here it is. Alright, so let's see exactly how much travel we got here. Okay. My keyboard is sticky. Time for a new keyboard. 8 a.m. We started at 6 a.m. Once you are done cleaning up there, you can come down here and help. Hey. I would do that if I had a way. I would love nothing more than to take off from here in the morning and show up down in South Carolina. Okay, so. Table is 410. So 865 minus 410. Is what 455? Is that what I got? Four fifty. Anyway, let's see. Where can I measure from? There we go. So right there, I'm at. 19 millimeters from the end of the track. And right there, I am at 459 millimeters. So, 440. I got 440 on my wide travel. And it's smooth as glass. So, I'm going to call that a success. I'm going to call that a success and I'm going to call it a night. So, I'll probably do another stream here later in the week. Whose drink is this? Oh, that's mine. Get it? It is the little one's bowl. Set it out of the way somewhere. Go put it on the kitchen cabinet. And let me start shutting some of this stuff down. Saying goodbye to everybody. Peace out. Okay, let me go back to the main screen here. There you have it. We did get accomplished most of what I wanted to get accomplished. Took a little longer than I thought. Getting those bolts and everything locked into the corner brackets, but it worked out perfect. The design worked well. The print worked well. Once I had all the right bolts and all the right fittings, everything just went together perfectly. Mama. And now I have a 440 Mama. travel Y bed. And, and it runs slick. So in the next video, we'll probably put the lower bearings on it. And we'll probably put the bushings up on the belt for the uh, X axis and get that belt locked Mama. down and dialed in. Mama. And then we'll see where we Mama. go from there. Um, I do have one issue I noticed. I got six millimeter bolts to slide into the round extrusion T-slots to bolt the saddles down. Mama. And they're the right length Mama. now. But the Mama. new company's bolts, the heads are just just a hair too thick. So I'm going to have to take a file to them or hit them on the grinder just just for a second. Just to Mama. knock a little bit of the Mama. diameter off of the bolt head. Mama. And then they should slide right in. And I So anyway, we made uh, good success on this project. It's up and running. And we are, we are moving along and it's picking up speed just like I had hoped. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. May have to get a handful, handful of grandbaby butt. Maybe not. I'm kidding, but she don't know that. Um, and we will come back again soon with the uh, continuation of this project, and we'll get it going. 
We're getting close. I'm very happy. I want to say once again, thank you everybody for coming and visiting and spending your time with me, spending your evening with me. And thank you so much for the bits and thank you so much for the subs. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Everything from showing up to the bits to the uh, the subs, you're all wonderful and a very supportive community. So thank you so much, and I will see you all again in my next video. So have a wonderful evening and stay safe out there. Good night. Bye.